Hi everybody, it is December 8, 2017. Just wanted to give you an update on what is taking place in California. And a whole lot is taking place in California, Southern California in particular. I will link below to Dabu's video on these swarms of earthquakes in Southern California. Kind of right where those fires are. And the list of earthquakes it's a wow. It's a real wow. And the red highlighted earthquakes are those earthquakes that are three and above on the Richter scale. But this is the most recent earthquake of today. This is all of the earthquakes for today for today, just for today, still just today. It starts the seventh right here, but these earthquakes, um, Topanga, California, I believe is Southern California, Mammoth Lakes, not entirely sure, but I think that is Southern California. Um, but there were two yesterday in Julian that were over three, but more in Julian. As you can see, Julian, 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 very close to lilac fire outside of San Diego. We had a 3.3, uh, 3.5 in Julian. We had a 4 in Julian. We had a 3.6 in Julian. A 4 in Julian. A 3 in Julian in two days. And when did the fires break out in outside of San Diego? This swarm now let's let's just take it to the fifth okay when did this fire start on the fifth was it three days ago it started monday night so four days ago i'm still just on december 6th now we're on the fifth and i do have to wonder if the use of scalar technology, the use of microwave weapons, the use of laser weapons are not involved in the explosion of earthquakes. California does get a lot of earthquakes, but this, this is pretty intense. So, I also want to bring to your attention that the California Earthquake Authority uh, in just in November 2017 they have taken out their latest catastrophe bond. The California Earthquake Authority returns to Ursa Re Limited, I guess, vehicle, which will be issuing two trances of series 2017, two notes to collateralize reinsurance agreements that will provide the California Earthquake Authority with a three year source of reinsurance due to losses, due to any losses that occur. By earthquakes. So that's something to just keep in mind. Also want to point out donation buttons up. Southern California fires. Google, yes, donate. Please don't donate to Red Cross, Google. Please donate to people that you trust 
come together in your communities, donate to one another. We have seen this time and time again. Are we going to see these celebrities come out and ask for your donations to help people in these California fires like we did with Hurricane Harvey? I did a video counting up all of the donations from organizations and Red Cross and our government and celebrities and our five presidents, five ex-presidents, and I think it came to 8.1 billion. And the next video that I post is to show you how people are living in their cars in Houston and the surrounding area of Houston. People are not getting helped not via these donations, not, not the donations that go to places like Google and Facebook and, and banks. and We have to do it another way. We have to start really helping people practically um, get back on their feet because the billions that are taken in they just don't really get down to the people who need them. Now, if you have not subscribed to One Pacific Redwood, who I believe lives in the foothills, the foothills of uh, Los Angeles, I do recommend that you come over here and check out his channel. So this is his latest post today. Okay, today is December the 8th, 2017, right now at 8.15 a.m. We have a temperature of 63 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 18%. Dew point is 21 degrees. And the barometer is way up at 30.25 inches. All right, so we've got 18 degrees or pardon me, 18% relative humidity right here. Let's take a look at the western U.S. water vapor loop. We have 18% humidity with all this weather just banging into this high pressure that's been installed. This is a man-made satellite-based transmitter-generated high pressure zone, which is completely blocking the entire west coast. And notice there's a zero rain in the entire west uh, western half of the country. Zero rain, and uh, as we look at the, uh, the maps, this is really quite amazing. Uh, this is a, a demonstration, essentially, by these uh, weather controllers, these uh, terrorists that are controlling our weather, of just how effective uh, their techniques are. This is this is a high pressure blockade right here, and that is not allowing any of this jet stream flow. Everything is bouncing off this wall of high pressure we can see that right there let's look at the jet stream map uh, right uh, here we can see we've got partial flow through mexico we've got flow coming out of the uh out of the west pacific right here which is the dropping down and then turning up up into canada and back down through the uh, central u.s let's take a look at that again we can see what's happening. We've got some uh, a disruption right here in the jet stream flow. But this is the flow nonetheless. It turns up and over into Canada and down. We've got no less than five low pressures in this area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the surface analysis map right now. We can see all those lows positioned. Okay, um, I will link below to everything, and I do think that you should <laughs> recommend uh, or subscribe to uh, One Pacific Redwood because he's really pointing out how they are keeping any kind of <laughs> humidity or rain outside of California.
this is a video that he posted on December 4 and there's a another one on December 3rd so they have created the conditions to bring about these fires and they are stopping all rain and letting these fires continue and really they are um, still raging out of control. This is uh, an area that a subscriber, I posted a video on a subscriber of mine who's, who has lost his home. This was the area. This uh, park, mobile home park. He lost everything. And I'm really sorry about my computer boy. California fires, six blazes, scorch nearly 160,000 acres. Look at this. I mean, the pictures are really pretty intense, to say the least. Wildfires roared across Southern California for a fifth straight day. And they do not... I haven't seen any news that have told me that they have these things contained where they're not going to cause any more damage or... No. Most of the fires are... They have very little containment. More fires in San Diego or San Diego County. Fires have forced 190,000 people out of their homes, some with nothing but their pets. Dry air, strong winds, forecast for the region through Sunday, which may fuel the fires. More horses, many more horses have died. California fires killed several race horses. I think several. Um, well, I've heard that 60 horses, not just the horses in this uh, stall or this um, horse ranch, whatever you want to call it. It's actually the San Louis Ray Downs. An estimated 25 horses were killed. But those numbers could be as high as 30. How do they, how do they, this is in the body of the article, and they're saying the fires killed several racehorses when it's 25 to 30. The fires came about so quickly that the only thing that they could do was open the stall doors to as many stalls as they could and let the horses go out. Just, and the horses were uh, wide-eyed and running around, some in circles. They were able to get control of some of the horses. Put a trainer in a coma. At least 50 horses die as Southern California wildfires take tragic toll on the equestrian communities. Yeah, it's very, very hard to hear this news, to deal with it. I mean, this was at the San Luis Rey Downs. All of these horses were completely fine, just munching on their their hay, and that's how fast the fire came at them. Fire officials deemed the area unsafe for vehicles to enter. Wow. The stable staff staff worked to herd the horses from barns into the infield and training track areas where it was safer. 
but 25 horses didn't make it. 29 horses trapped in locked stalls died in the creek fire that affect the San Fernando Valley neighborhood. Fire engulfs California retirement areas. Retirement areas. How many Americans who live on their limited incomes in retirement do you think can survive this kind of loss. Hope to God these people have families that are intact and care and love about uh, and love one another. And this is another story, another article I mean about what is taking place with the horses. Is anybody else really experiencing unbelievably slow internet service. I, I included this article just to show you that there are hundreds of people trying to save these horses. And volunteering, trying to drive them to safety. I love hearing about you know, especially when there are huge numbers of people coming out and really helping one another. But this is, this just continues. I mean, this is horrifying what is taking place. 85 structures, they don't say homes or businesses, they use the word structures. Structures. And I heard that um, two people died, I believe, in the lilac fire. The first day I did reporting on this, only one person died, a motorist. Do any of you believe that only three people have died so far? And I think six injured in the lilac fire? And the number still, according to mainstream media, what I have seen reported today, I think 400 and 460 plus homes got destroyed in the Thomas fire in Ventura, and 85 structures in this lilac fire. Um, it does seem to be rather low. So you can check out this article to find out. I mean, the, the, the information's the same. High winds, dry conditions. Here, the fires that are contained. Thomas Fire, the Thomas Fire, the biggest one up in Ventura County, 10% contained. The Rye Fire, 35% contained. The Creek Fire, 40% contained. The Skirball Fire, 30% contained. Lilac Fire, 0% contained. Liberty Fire in Riverside County, 10% contained. So the Thomas Fire is the biggest fire, and this fire is spreading rapidly due to the winds. It is only 10% contained and only, I don't know, 460 plus homes burned. That does seem to be a low number to me. I didn't even hear about the Santa Clarita fire. Still having difficulty talking, guys. I'm sorry. But here's uh, live updates on the San Diego County fires, and you can check it out. There's a Sweetwater fire, the Lilac fire. They give information about 
evacuation centers, recovery help, animal assistance, the roads that are closed, mandatory evacuations versus the voluntary evacuations so I will link below to all of this I hope that you circulate the information and it's uh, prompting Governor Jerry Brown I, to declare a state of emergency in the county. The fast-moving fire prompted many road closures, including this East is, State Route 76 between East Valley Way and Interstate where is this and Old Highway 395 at Lilac Road. Okay, so any of you in SoCal, uh, please pass this information along. It's a well, guys. It's a well. Jesus.